You know, last fall, Idaho quarterback Giovanni McCoy went from an unknown, under-recruited underdog to, well, the face of the program. By the time all was said and done, McCoy was posing for pictures with Jerry Rice after winning the FCS Freshman of the Year Award. All of this is awesome news, but it's also created a bit of a challenge for head coach Jason Eck with the transfer portal era. The Vandals have to find a way to make Moscow the most appealing opportunity for McCoy moving forward. You know, if you look at the current landscape of college athletics, anybody that doesn't have these, you know, uncapped collectives out there are in danger of losing their best players. I'm sure that there are a lot of other teams out there that understand the talents of Giovanni McCoy. How do you keep him in an Idaho Vandal jersey? Well, that's one of the first things I thought is, you know, we looked at the past winners when I was at that banquet, and I'm looking at the past winners, and I, uh, I look two years back, and the quarterback who won the award two years ago is now down the road from us at Washington State, <laughs> starting for him. He, he won the award at the Incarnate Word and then transferred out of there. So I, I think that's the reality, you know, that, that we're going to have to deal with that. And uh, I want to keep trying to help these guys in any, any way they can. You know, I think, uh, you know, we're not going to be, uh, you know, Texas where they're paying quarterbacks a million dollars. But, you know, if we can help uh, connect our guys to the right, you know, Vandal boosters or alums, and uh, there's some, some type of endorsements they can do that maybe put four or five hundred dollars in their pocket a month. I mean, that goes a long way in Moscow, Idaho. We can be a small time player in the name, image and likeness. You know, again, we're never going to be matching Nebraska and the big boys, but uh, uh, that is a concern, I think, for anyone in college athletics right now.